Seizures! So yesterday I played Spy vs. Spy. Spy vs. Spy based on the Mad Magazine comic strip. This is the second game in the series, Spy vs. Spy 2, The Island Caper. The crazy duo from Mad Magazine are back. Can you find all three parts of the top secret XJ4 one and a half missile and escape from the island before your enemy and and before the volcano erupts? This comical and highly playable game allows you to set booby traps. Emphasis on the boobies. Ranging from exploding coconuts to hidden snares and shark attacks. Shark attacks? Featuring the amazing Simulvision, you can play against a computer or a friend in this crazy comical race against time. Fun and addictive gameplay make this classic game a must for both one and two players. <laughs> I thought it was the fifth. <laughs> Yeah, one would think there would be tons and tons and tons of uh, expansion packs for a Commodore game. But no, no, it's just the second game in the series. The Island Caper! And for whatever reason, I chose the love jack attack from last night. The fuck happened there? I, I apologize, folks. That was a that was a colossal fuck up. That island is the size of my shoe. Yeah, I should mention, I, I actually have uh, two, two buttons on my pad binded to the quick save and quick load. Because last night I was playing a game that was really, really long and had an ending, but I don't think it was meant to be beat. Please stand by while loading. Nuts to that. Fast forward. Fear the wrath of my uh, of my uh, cigarette of doom. Extra sexy slim. Ha <laughs> Um those of you in the chat has any of you ever uh, ever read Mad Magazine if you have have you ever seen any of the spies use swords? Cuz I'll remember seeing them do that. I'm going to stab you in the death with my cigarette with my cigarette of doom. Yay, I has a missile piece. now have two pieces of the missile. Yay! And I'm sinking!
That would have been ironic right there. <laughs> Oh wait, that was the... Are you fucking kidding me? All three pieces of the rocket were right here. Uh, Alright. Hey, Blocky. Okay, if I remember correctly, the submarine is over here. Yes, it is. by getting some pussy action. Yeah, let's go ahead with that. I think that was, that was a twig. Oh, for God's sake, so Black Spy already has the, the rocket? <sighs> yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm gonna stab you to death with my, with my cigarette of doom. I can go bother with the special traps I have laid out for you. Yeah, funny thing, you can dig holes and uh, you can plant bombs. See that thing that that thing there now is a booby trap. It's a bomb. So if you step on it, you lose a lot of health. All right. I'm going to assume the sub is not across that quicksand because if it is, um, that's a huge amount of derp. Is the sub over here? Nope, the sub is not there. Where is the sub? Okay, I'm, I'm now scared. Because evidently the sub is past that quicksand. Uh, what do you mean this game may cause headaches? Are you talking frustration or just, uh... Or just some sort of, uh... I don't know.
Oh, the light show at the start. I can't help you there. A lot of Commodore games, or at least uh, programmers, they thought they were being cute by adding seizure scripts. Okay, one more and then I will call this game done. Looks like I lost this one. Shit. <laughs> okay. So it mostly just depends on whether or not you have a computer that has enough knowledge as to where the submarine is. Go ahead and end it there. That was Spy vs. Spy 2 for the Commodore 64.